Hello and welcome to Anton's TV. My name is Jack Duxbury, he's Tay Tay. Yeah. And in the spirit of the name of this product, we've covered it in a red bit of fabric that Taylor just <laughs> And I'm gonna pull it off and reveal what we've got. The Alessis Prestige. This is gonna be a true unboxing. It's turned up today. We're making this before it comes out to you. I'm gonna unbox it, play it. You can hear what it sounds like. Doesn't look like it's got too many features. I'll give you my opinion on how it feels and play some dodgy chords in the key of whatever my master does dictate to me. See you in a bit. In a bit of trivia, uh, the reason why we had the red cover on there was for people that have seen the film The Prestige with Hugh Jackman and Christian Bale, directed by Christopher Nolan. It's a good one. If you're low on things to watch on Netflix. 88 full-size graded hammer action keys with adjustable touch response, 16 voices, 128 note polyphony, 50 watt speakers, two, like two times 25 watt, so we'll test that out, definitely. Uh, adjustable reverb with five different types, uh, metronome, so pretty standard fare, but it says it comes with a sustain pedal, a music rest, and a power adapter, which I like. Woo! Unboxed. We're going to turn it on for the first time together, me, Tay Tay, and you at home. There we are. First piano sound. Uh, let's go for a key, please. G. Lovely. Thank you, sir. First impressiones are that the action is a little bit squidgy. I'd say it's a little bit squidgy. Hey, but when you look at the price of this keyboard, it's coming in at under 400 pounds. So why is it under 400 pounds? I think it's a type of action that would break in. I watch a lot of running shoe reviews and they often can feel like the midsole might be good in a hundred miles. I feel like with this And as I've learned with other keyboards, when you really get them out of the box, they're a little bit, they just need the mechanism to wear, uh, you know, wear in a bit. Uh, as the speakers go, saying it's got the 50 watt, two times 25 watt speakers, Let's try a different sound and uh, see what the bottom end's like on it, because I can't really tell. Uh, electric piano, this is the Mark 1, it says. Organ. Right. That 
that's the first string sound we've got. And then how do I get the other one? So I go piano and I tap it again. Oh, it changes color, green to red. So this is a dark one. Harpsichord. <laughs> Go on that electric piano and flick it through the green one. Hey, I'm getting the feeling that the sounds are not crackalacking. You know, this is a, not crazy, but unless it's we're entry level brand on pretty much everything. So what are we getting that's really good about it? I think that for that price, the key, I can already feel that the key bed is loosening up with me playing it. That's not the, I'd say the sounds are a bigger problem than the key bed. And that's cool because a lot of people, I recommend you should buy this type of piano for your MIDI controller. I think that you're missing a trick if you spend an extra 200 pounds, say, on the Arturia or Roland offering as their MIDI controller because you end up spending like six, 700 pounds on something that has no noise in it. At least with this for the 400 pounds, if your computer goes down, you can flick it onto this and be like, um. You can play some tunes. general MIDI sounds put into a controller and that's where I think it's cool because you get a music rest which I think is cool and you also get which I know for once I'm not going to get wrong you get a sustain pedal <laughs> I always get it wrong well, you can get a sustain pedal always wrong but I can see it it came out of the ruddy box so that's cool for under 400 quid to get something would I want to go out and perform with it me? No. Could I, if I wanted to perform with it, what would I do? I'd have my laptop or maybe an iPad with the camera connector kit, USB MIDI, and I'd get posher sounds and just be happy that I bought an 88 key weighted keyboard for under 400 pounds. Uh, that's about it really. It's got a metronome in it, you can change the reverb type, but I think it's not blowing me away. But then let's think about how much it costs. It's really reasonable for an 88 key piano, not too heavy. I'm going to play you out. Let's just stick to that piano. I'll play a few more of the sounds on the way out and I'll shout them out. Um, let's have a bit of a noodle. This has got a polysynth here. So let's touch. So this is strings. But you can split and lay. So if I hit split and then hit piano and hit these together. Terrible. Me, terrible. So you can split and we can layer. So if I want piano and strings, go layer and then these two, yeah, layer. Let's try this out.
I don't know how the sound's going to come out. They sound muffled to me in here. Sound a little bit muffled. Maybe the line out recording will be better. Uh, but hey, man, it's under 400 quid for a weighted keyboard with speakers in it. And is anyone going to care if you're a gig or you're a choir? And this is the one. It's up to you. And if you like the name, you like Alessis, you've got some other stuff, you might end up buying this one. Single headphone out. I'll play us out just on the piano again, and I will play something like that sounds like a Carol King song. If you like what we're doing, consider subscribing. If you don't, let us know. And uh, we got loads of videos thanks to Tete, who's just pumping out. I don't know how he does it. So show some love to Tete. Thank you.